everyone, so today's video is going to be a first impressions video on a product that I picked up recently. So, I was in Superdrug and this intrigued me because I haven't tried many of these products in this range. And it is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and it just looks like this. The only Fit Me um, product I have tried from Maybelline is the concealer and I really like the concealer. So I thought I would give the foundation a try. Now this is the matte and poreless one and it says it's best suited for normal to oily skin. Now at the moment, my skin it isn't particularly oily but it's not particularly dry, it's kind of all over the place. So I thought I would just give this a try. So I've got up the product description and it says that Fit Me Matte and Poreless has been designed for normal to oily skin. It's blurring micro, micro powder, refines pores while shine is being absorbed for a natural matte finish and it says it's best suited for normal to oily skin and it gives a medium to full coverage. It also says on how to use, apply smoothly and evenly to your face and blend with your fingertips. So I don't usually apply foundation with my fingers, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my forehead with a brush, this cheek with a sponge, and then this cheek with my fingertips just to see which gives the best coverage. I got the shade 105 and I did use the tester in the shop and it looked about right. And I think it's the lightest one. It's really like liquidy. If you can see that. Evenly distribute this. All over my face and then use the different methods to blend it in. If you're wondering about tones this foundation, it looks very yellow toned. And I'd probably say that my skin's more pink toned so I'm not too sure how well that's going to work. But... I'm gonna go in with my fingertips, so like just use my hand on this cheek. I haven't used a primer also because I wanna fairly test it and see what it's like without a primer and I don't want, say, it doesn't get on with a primer and it doesn't show its actual good qualities. It says medium to full coverage, but I'm not sure if I'm getting, like, medium, yeah. But maybe it's just buildable, so I'm going to go in with this side with my sponge. Honestly, finger and sponge have given it a really similar effect. And as I'm looking at it, it's alright. A Real Techniques buffing brush and buff in on my forehead. I haven't used this brush in a while, I used to love this brush for foundation and the Expert Face Brush. But I'm just going to see how well it does. I probably put a bit too much on my forehead. Okay, just so that I can see it, I'm going to put my glasses back on. So, okay, it actually has, it's a really good colour match, honestly. The yellowness, the yellow? The yellowness has toned down quite a lot. And I'd say that the brush probably applied it the least, like not as good as the sponge or the finger. I sort of clung to some dry patches that I have on my nose because again as it said it is for normal to oily skin. So I'm hoping, so I'm going to update you throughout the day, that it would have stayed on around my nose because that's the problems I have with foundation. I will set it with powder but it always usually comes off and then I look really shiny underneath. So it has given it a really nice smooth finish on the cheek um, with the fingers and the beauty blender. So I'm just going to put a bit more on my chin and just see if it's buildable. It is a really nice light formula. So I'd say that first round it's given me medium coverage but you can build it up so that it's full coverage. But I think it looks pretty nice. I'm really impressed with that. It's got a, a really, really nice finish. So now I'm actually, I don't know if I even need to use concealer because it's given me a really nice amount of coverage. And as I said, it is really buildable, I think, as I build it up on my chin and it, and it had covered really well. So I'm gonna skip um, concealer. I probably would have used the Fit Me Concealer. And I'm going to take my Real Moss Stay Matte Powder and just set where my glasses sit, which is what I always do. 
just here and like under my eyes. So now I am going to go in with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer and I'm going to lightly bronze my face like I normally would. I'm really loving the finish of the foundation. I like to make my skin look really nice. Then I'm going to use my Jeffree Star and Money MUA Skin Frost in Eclipse. I love this highlighter, it's so gorgeous. Oh, look at it. And that's all I'm going to do for my face because I'm not a blush person really. But I'm going to use this trick that I learned from Nikki Tutorials and it is taking your setting spray and then waving like a card to really set it down with it and it keeps your makeup in place and I did this yesterday and it actually worked really nicely so I'm going to be doing that again so I'm taking the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Fixing Spray and I'm just going to take, I've got this Colourpop Cosmetics card and I'm just going to My skin, honestly, I absolutely love this finish. Like, it's made my skin look really nice and natural, and it actually hasn't mattified too much, but it has enough to eliminate that kind of oily look, although it's the start of the day and I wouldn't be too oily yet. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, so my eye makeup and stuff, and then I'm gonna come back and keep updating you through the day on how it's lasting and stuff. So honestly, I am so in love this, with this formula, like damn, I'm, I love this so much. It's given me such a nice finish. So what I'm gonna do is at the end of the day when I'm about to take it off, I'm gonna update you on how it went and what it's looking like and if there are any marks on my glasses and all that sort of stuff, just so it is a completely fair test. On it but honestly I am loving this at the moment so it's not right the other day it's 20 past 6 and I probably won't take my makeup off for another few hours but I want to just do an overview of this so I can upload this video um, in good time so it has stayed on pretty well like I'd say it's still on I will do some close-ups in the lighting it has kind of come off around this area of my face. It didn't claim how long it would stay on for, so it's done pretty well for not claiming anything. Like, it's still... I could go out with this on and people are not going to be like, oh, half your foundation's come off. So it has stayed on pretty well and it's also kept me pretty matte. Like, I'm not particularly shiny at all, like, around this area. Um, when I do take my glasses off, I have got a lot of the product where I normally get it, so in here, and it has left, it has left a small mark, it's smaller than usual, um, like it's not as prominent, but it is still there, and I am pretty oily under here, so it hasn't done that too well there, but I feel like more oil builds up because of my glasses being there anyway, so overall, I am really impressed with this foundation. And I'd probably give it like a 9 out of 10 because honestly I really like the finish it gave, the coverage it gave and it has stayed on for a pretty good amount of time. My opinion on that foundation. So if you enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>